never is a dull moment at the Ongaro Lodge. Even with thousands of birds across the countryside, the morning spotting team must pick just the right hunt to finish off a great day for our guests. With mornings not always going as planned, the afternoon teams can feel the pressure mounting as the morning's hunt progress comes in via text. In this episode, it's Claudio, Mel and Brad getting it done with some amazing afternoon action for our guests. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Whew. Whew. It's a cold one today. All right, uh, good morning. So, here's what's going on today. For the afternoon, we have to compensate for what they did or didn't kill. So, we're out spotting all of our hunts, and let's say Brad comes out of there with 40 ducks and eight dark geese. Well, now we want to go on a, on a dark goose hunt. So, we're out scouring the landscape, making sure we're watching everything, and then as the techs come in, we go, okay, well, let's pick this target, and of course, the target has to stick and it has to have the right flock composition to cover the guys in the in the morning. So it's it's this totally different spotting dynamic when we're out spotting in the morning than we are in the evening. It makes for an interesting scramble every morning, which is kind of cool. It's fun. So we're we're just watching and we're trying to cover lots of landscape because we gotta pick that ripe fruit when it's ready and we gotta pick the right ripe fruit. So anyways, that's the deal. I just come up to check the roost here. Uh, it was solid white last night. Now either the birds are out feeding or they've changed roost. I would suspect they're out feeding, so that's a good thing. I, all I was doing is checking the roost because I just know the number of birds in the area and we kind of know the fields they've been going to, so we check the roost and if they're not there then we know we can go check the fields. I'm a target, so now I'm gonna head over to that hunt and have a look. My target is, is uh, about six miles away, so I need to get over there and have a look at it. Hey Brad, how's it going, man? I'm all right, we're chipping. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, all the birds have come, just my wind flipped bad, like, so I moved it, made adjustment, and it wasn't working, so we had to flip the blinds. And then, we, then the wind went flat, so now they kind of want to do it in behind us again. I don't know, we've got 20 ducks. Okay. 20 ducks, 15 geese. I think we'll get our ducks, but we're just chipping at this point. All right, it's well. Not, not the prettiest it was supposed to be, that's all. Yeah. I mean, this thing here, there's still lots, but they're leaving. So I don't know, yeah. something put them up, they might settle in there. But I, I, I just have a feeling it's food related. Lots are going back in, so I'll yeah. see. Uh, I'll see how it shakes down here in the okay. next 20 minutes. Go, buddy. Okay, go, bye. Go, Keep your phone handy. Bye, bye. Yeah, so Brad's having a bit of trouble. He's at 20 ducks, 15 geese. So if he gets his ducks, that's good. Uh, if not, we'll make some adjustments. This one here, they're going back in. So, you know, a lot of times what happens, and I've seen this before, the eagles will badger them. They scatter, some leave, like a lot of them are leaving. Who knows, they might be going back to a happy place where they fed a couple days ago. There's a bunch in there still and they settle in. Should be okay. Uh, and most of them did go back in. I just, you know, you hate losing 10,000 birds. But it all happened at once. So as long as they get back in and settle, we'll be, we'll be fine. You know, the decoys, all they do is present them in front of you. They got to be coming there. It ain't, you know, it ain't decoying birds that are flying over. I mean, it just, you know, didn't really happen that way so well anyways. going on a speck and uh, duck hunt and 
And what we got is there's a few snows around, so I'm gonna white suit it. A little bit unconventional, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going in white suits on, on chairs in the spread, and I'm going to use oh, probably 300 snow silhouettes, uh, silo socks, to blend us into the spread. So my spread will be mostly darks with uh, a big hole there for the ducks to target. We'll probably use three Robos. But the key to this whole thing is the snow silos because we've got to get rid of the hunters and what that white band will do will blend us into the decoys. Geese won't see us. Snows are arctics. Specs are used to them. It's not gonna affect the hunt at all. And there is a few snows in there, just enough to allow me to do this white suit gig. And it's gonna go off well. All right, so Brad and Jeff had, uh, had pretty good mornings. Uh, Mel and I are, are have two good hunts for this afternoon and we're hoping to wrap up a great day. The weather's messing with us a little bit, but uh, you know, hopefully we get it done. I'm, I mean, it, it seems like we've been on a bit of a roll, so I'm sure Mel and I are gonna knock it out of the park today. All right, so we're all set up. We got here, I don't have a ton of ducks, so I don't want to miss out on any. We've had three flights come already. They just shot into one and they got two, which is good. Of course, pintails starting to come early, then we'll get some mallards. Anyways, a bunch of geese in here, we need nine, but I do need another 20 ducks and I don't have high volume. So I got to get in there and, and, and uh, get it done and that's a wrap. Hopefully we can finish it off for the day here. Get ready, guys. Get ready, boys. Let's get them in tight. Oh, yeah. Rip them, rip them, rip them, rip them. Hang tight, hang tight guys, just hold, enjoy the show, just hold on. Let them get into a stall. <laughs> roll them guys, roll them. Everyone went on this side. Yeah. <laughs> that guy got it. I can't believe they came around again. Here we go, here we go. Roll them, guys, roll them. It's going according to plan. So uh, we got the ducks that we needed. And now we're just waiting on geese. I didn't have a lot of volume and that's why we wanted to hunt this one in the afternoon because the ducks always come before the geese instead of getting tangled up with the geese. So anyways, done ducks. I'm gonna pull the robos, get them right out of there. I'll put them back here, turn them off. And just wait on nine candidates and hopefully they do it as well as the, the ducks did it. That would be nice. Oh, here comes a flight from the right, back, right. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> they'll be in the hole, make it count. Rip them guys, they're right there, right there. Good. Reload quick. Watch the ones work. Okay, here comes two. Get ready. Kill him. That was a good volley. I couldn't have planned it any better because the objective was, uh, you know, get in here, get the early flights of ducks, got those done before, you, and then we saw one goose while we were picking up the ducks, and then the flights came, we killed two, they're wheeling with some ducks, 
And then uh, a big flight came, circled, circled in the blocks. It was over. That's it. We got our 10. And, and uh, it's, it's a wrap. And they're all going down over there. And it looks like it's ready for tomorrow afternoon if we need them. Oh, that's a great hunt. You know, we, we set up. We had four or five flights come in. We got our birds. You know, everybody shot well. The decoys worked. The spread looked good. And it was a fun time, fun outing. Well, this morning the guys had a rough one. Uh, they got lots of snow geese, but uh, the ducks never showed up, and it's all because of the cold, cold temperatures. I had the same problem the day before. So we need, uh, I think, 38 ducks tonight. There were lots of ducks in here. It's a really nice night tonight. Our wind's doing funky things, but uh, I think we can adapt around that. We need 33 three dark geese uh, between specks and uh, little Canada's or big Canada's doesn't matter we have lots of everything in here lots of little little Canada's so if they cooperate ducks cooperate we'll be doing great other than that we're we're, we're good so all we need is to add some birds and get after it hopefully pretty soon Yeah, there's a whole, there was a whole big flock of ducks and thought, here they come. Get ready, guys, get ready. Stay low, they're coming off your right side. Beat them up. How many we get, guys? Huh? Okay, get down, get down, get down. We got geese coming. Kill them, kill them, stick. Got more ducks coming in front. Beat them up. Watch these geese off to your left side. Kill them, kill them. Get right back down. Here comes two right in front, maybe. Beat him up. Duck, guys. Let him come around. Get ready. Beat him up. Kill them, guys. Beat them up. Kill them, guys. Kill him. Well, we're going to get another flight here, guys. And then that's probably going to be it. <laughs> Kill him, guys. Well, I think we should pick up our birds while we can find them. Yeah, well, we're done the evening hunt for the geese and the ducks. Had lots of ducks on us. The guy, I haven't counted them yet. I think the guys are pretty much limit on ducks. Uh, we only got maybe six geese. We had 
some pretty good opportunity. A lot of the geese uh, went right by us just into another part of the field, which, you know, sometimes that's what happens. And we've seen lots and lots of geese. Yeah, all in all, it was a pretty good shoot. There was tons of opportunity. You know, you don't always get what you want, but uh, I think the boys had fun. They got a lot of shooting in and every, everything went off good. So yeah, now we're just packing up in the dark. That's the only bad part of the whole deal. But uh, yeah, no, it was good. It was good. At least they got their ducks for the day and, and some more geese. So that's important. So happy with it. So tonight we're going to go out and hunt some honkers um, in a swath field. i um, going to use these layout blinds. This is the Cabela's Shadow Free blinds. This is what we use as our layout blinds. They're great. They uh, dress up really easy. got night, lots of straps on them. Lots of straps to hold lots of stubble because you need to cover them up real well, but you break up really well in them. Uh, tonight you're going to be even better because what we're going to do is get in the swaths with them. So we'll get in there and just part the swath apart a bit. Get it in up around the sides of the blind. We'll dress the doors a bit and, uh, and then dress the toes because the toes will be sticking out. The rest of it will be hidden in the blind. So what you get is the effect of just the, the swath, the stripe of the swath hides you as well, right? So, I mean, you'll have to have your faces covered a bit, but you will disappear in the swath. So I'm anticipating it's going to go real good because anytime you can get in the swath and get that extra break up with the uh, concealment that you get from the blind is usually perfect. So, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm assuming we're going to do quite well tonight, I hope so. So yeah, I don't know, lots of honkers. Yeah, well, honkers are smart too. They're, um, they come in, but they're cautious, you know, they don't, uh, they come in, they like to look, they take a seat, they don't just come in and come in. They like to look and make sure everything's fine, so you got to, you got to be hidden. You got to be hidden and you got to look good, and you can really look good in these blinds because you could disappear. They're great. So it's the plan, to shoot some honkers tonight, so excited about it, so. Got out this morning, limited it out on uh, speckled belly geese and ducks, and it was a, it was cold, but it was an awesome hunt. We're looking forward to another great shoot this afternoon. Set up to to shoot some Canadian geese today. Uh, I've only hunted out of this type of uh, uh, jump up blind a couple of times, but uh, I really like it a lot. Uh, you, you, you're laid back. It's 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 very easy hunt uh, on the hunter. You, can, you sit back, you look at the sky and wait for the, the guy to yell, get him. So it's a, it's a wonderful way to hunt. We had uh, real cold weather this morning. It was, I don't know, something like minus 12 last night, but the wind chill was even colder than that. Uh, so lots of the waters froze up, lots of things, lots of hunts have changed. Tonight I'm hunting some honkers that I found in this field or in the swaths. I'm hunting close to uh, some open water right to the south of me where some migrators have come in so I'm hoping to get a little extra traffic on top of the birds I did see in here. So uh, yeah, I need to get uh, 15 honkers, 15 cans to clean up their skies, uh, their, their, their dark geese hunt for the day. So that's our that's our intention. So And we got really good hides. That we got in our favor and like I said, where we are is in our favor too for traffic. So we'll see. We'll let you know in a little bit. Oh, it's great to be in Canada. Weather's awesome. Enjoying the hunting. Really wonderful to be here. Uh, we could team up for this afternoon a few geese, Canadian geese. Uh, we're looking, got our uh, setup here going and got everything in the ground and we're uh, all the decoys out. Really looking forward to it. It'll be a fun one. Oh, we got birds coming everywhere. Yeah, let's get loaded up, boys, because these geese seem like they're coming out real clumpy tonight. Wait, wait. We better go, boys. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Shoot, shoot. There we go. Damn, boys. That's our first time ever busting out of the corn. I know. <laughs> Oh, 
Everyone pick a bird. Go, guys. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot. Get ahead of him. Get ahead of him. Get ahead of him. <laughs> Big bird. <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. Oh, get ready, boys. Get ready. Go, boys. Go, go, go. Come on. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Go, boys. Go, go, go. One landed. One landed out the left. Just put your geese in behind your hooch kind of line on the swaths and get a count of what we got. Here we go, we got four coming low, boys. Four of them. Pick a bird, pick the bird on your side, keep your eye on them. Go, boys, go, 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 go! Bird on your side! <laughs> That's calling in there, nice job, Cap. Beautiful. Hey, hey, oh, he's coming back. He's beating him up, boys, get ready. Go, boys. Beat him up. There we go. We're done. And that's a good thing. Oh, man, what a day. Unbelievable. Came in wave after wave here at the, at the very end of the day. Just absolutely awesome. Great yeah. to be here. Yeah, we had a real treat tonight because uh, we had a lot of honkers come in today. I guess it kind of, you take the good with the bad. We lost some speckle bellies, but we definitely gained some honkers. Um, we saw a lot of birds tonight, but uh, the ones that uh, did it well, did it real well. Uh, we made short order of this, I think five volleys. Boys shot well, the birds are right there though. Big honkers. Guys are real happy, so good end to a good day. <laughs>